Welcome students, I am Dr. Shagir Da, Assistant Professor, Department of Biochemistry, St. Joseph College of Arts and Science, Kadalur. In this video, I am going to discuss about protoplast, isolation, fusion and then regeneration. First, we discussed about what is protoplast. Protoplast are nagged plant cells without the cell wall, but they possess plasma membrane and other cellular components. They represent the functional plant cells, but the lack of barrier cell wall. The protoplast of different species can be fused to generate the hybrid and this process is referred to as somatic hybridization. What is hybridization? It is the phenomenon of fusion of normal protoplast with an unucleated protoplast that result in the formation of cybrid or cybroplast. This is the overall steps of this process. First, we are going to isolation of protoplast. Second, we are going to fusion of different plant protoplast. And finally, we are going to regeneration of hybrid plants. The isolation of protoplast next undergo fusion of protoplast of different species, varieties, and Third one is identification and selection of somatic hybrid cells. It undergo culture of hybrid cells and finally we are going to regeneration of hybrid plants. The first we are going to discuss about the isolation of protoplasts. Protoplasts are isolated by two techniques. First one is a mechanical method, second is an enzymatic method. In this mechanical method, we are going to take a small piece of epidermis from a plant is selected. The cells are subjected to plasmolysis. This causes protoplast to shrink away from the cell wall. The tissue is dissected to release the protoplast. Second method is an enzymatic method. This is a very widely used technique for isolation of protoplast. And the advantages of enzymatic method include it gives good yield of viable cells and minimal or no damage to the protoplast. Sources of protoplast is mainly undergo uh, many leaves, roots, shoot apex, fruits, embryos and microspores. In fact, the various enzymes for protoplast isolation are commercially available. Mainly we are going to use cellulase, hemicellulase and then pectinase. The enzymes are usually used at the pH 4.5 and 6. The temperature is 25 to 30 degrees centigrade with a wide variation in incubation period that may range from half an hour to 20 hours. So, in this enzymatic method, we are going to use two different methods, sequential method and then simultaneous method. The sequential method, the tissues is first treated with pectinase to separate cells by degrading middle lamella. These free cells are then exposed to cellulase to release protoplast. In simultaneous method, this is a preferred method for protoplast isolation. It involves simultaneous of both enzyme macrozymes and cellulase. This is the isolation of protoplast from leaves procedure, the sterilization of leaves, removal of abdominal cell layer, Treatment with enzyme and isolation of protoplast. Next, we are going to discuss about the viability of protoplast. It is essential to ensure that the isolated protoplasts are healthy and viable so that they are capable of undergoing sustained cell division and regeneration. There are several methods to assess the protoplast viability. Mainly, we are going to use first FDA staining, fluorescent diacetate staining. The dye accumulate inside the viable protoplast, which can be detected by fluorescent microscopy. Second one is a phenosafranin stain, is selectively taken up by dead protoplast, while the viable cells remain unstained. Third one is a advanced blue dye, exclusion of advanced blue dye by intact the membrane. So, this is the overall procedure, isolation, fusion and regeneration. First, we are going to take the young plant. In this plant, leaves are going to sterilization. 
after the sterilization is completed the epidermis layer is peeling and this is undergo the plasmalized of cells so uh, we are going to add some enzymes like pectinase and then hemicellulase cellulase what happen the cell wall is digestion and release the protoplast so we are going to wash the protoplast and we got the isolated protoplast so this is the first step the isolation of protoplast is completed so next step is a fusion of different protoplast so we are going to prepare some media and nutrients growth regulators everything and we are going to add this isolated protoplast in that medium so what happened the two different isolated protoplast are fusion and we are going to add this some chemical like polyethylene glycol so the fusion of protoplast is completed so second step is completed next we are going to regenerate the protoplast Uh, the cell wall regeneration occurs and clumping of cells callus tissues are forming and differentiation of callus tissue like root and shoot formation occurs finally we got the whole plant this is a hybrid varieties of whole plant so this is the overall procedure of protoplast so we already discussed about the protoplast isolation second step is a protoplast fusion in this protoplast fusion it undergo three different steps spontaneous fusion mechanical fusion and then induced fusion in this spontaneous fusion cell fusion is a natural process as it absorbed in case of cell fertilization during the course of enzymatic degradation of cell wall some of the adjacent protoplast may fuse to form homocaryotes In this mechanical fusion the protoplast can be pushed together mechanically to fuse final one is induced fusion freshly isolated protoplast can be fused by induction there are several fusion inducing reagent which are collectively referred as fusogens so uh, for example polyethylene glycol poly polyvinyl alcohol lysozyme dextrone dextrone sulfate fatty acid and esters are the example for induced fusion we are going to discuss about the polyethylene glycol this is a very important method in this fusion this become a method of choice due to its high success rate for the fusion of protoplast from many plant species the isolated protoplast in culture medium are mixed in equal volume of 28 to 56 percentage of polyethylene glycol in a tube what happen the polyethylene glycol enhances the fusion of protoplast in several species this tube is shaken and then allowed to settle so finally we got the somatic hybrid cells the protoplast fusion is completed next one is a regeneration of protoplast in this regeneration undergo two major steps formation of cell wall and then development of callus or whole plant so first the formation of cell wall the process of cell wall formation in cultured protoplast start within a few hours after the isolation they may take two to several days under suitable condition second one the development of callus or whole plant in this method as a uh, cell wall formation around the protoplast is completed the cells increases in size and the first division generally occurs within a 2 to 7 days subsequent division result in small colonies and by end of third week visible colonies are formed these colonies are then transferred to the osmotic free medium for further development to form callus with induction and appropriate manipulation the callus can undergo organogenesis and embryogenic differentiation to finally it form the whole plant so now we are discussed about the applications the protoplast in culture can be regenerated into whole plant second application is hybrid can be developed from protoplast fusion it is easy to perform single cell cloning with protoplast 
genetic transformation can be achieved through genetic engineering of protoplast dna protoplast are excellent material for ultra structural studies like stem cell studies isolation of cell organelles and chromosomes is easy from protoplast and the protoplast are useful for membrane studies isolation of mutant from protoplast culture is very easy thank you